Half a day and welcome to GCA Today. I'm Anne-Marie Palabella with the Guam Contractors Association. Today I have a special guest, Mr. William Harris. He is the owner of Pacific Powders Coatings Guam and he will be telling us a little bit more about his business and what he has to offer. Half a day, Mr. Harris, how are you? Half a day, thank you, uh, fine, thank you very much. Thank you for having me here. You're welcome, great to have you here. So tell me a little bit more about your company. How, when, when was it first established? Okay, we, uh, we opened our doors uh, in June four years ago. So come June will be our fourth year anniversary. Uh, our business is unique for Guam. Okay. We're the only powder coating shop uh, on Guam. There have been a few people that have um, uh, endeavored to powder coat on a small scale prior to us, uh, but this mostly uh, at home type. Okay. We're the uh, first um, that have set up on a commercial scale. Commercial scale. What is powder coating? Powder coating is its not uh, anything new. It's been around for 40 years or more. Uh, it's the 70s they've been powder coating. On the mainland, uh, quite common uh, for uh, uh, to find powder coating shops. Even in Hawaii, there's probably five powder coating shops uh, in Hawaii. Uh, it is a uh, it's a form of a paint. Okay. It's um, unlike uh, what we think of as paint that's put on wet. This is put on dry as a powder. And um, once we uh, we put it on the object that we're going to powder coat, we we bake it in the oven. Uh, we, we throw it in an oven and cure it at uh, 350 to 400 degrees, typically, uh, for standard powders. Oh, okay. What type of materials do you... What are some examples? Uh, <laughs> yes. We do... Well, anything that is uh, conductive, electric, electrically conductive, and can take 400 degrees, or uh, 350 to 400 degrees. So we see a lot of, um, so basically we're talking metal uh, items. It could be aluminum, it could be steel, um, galvanized, uh, copper, brass, uh, you name it, as long as it uh, can, is conductive. Okay. And I use that word conductive because uh, the way we do it is, um, you know, most people think of wet paint, you mm -hmm. use a paintbrush or a spray gun. We, we use a spray apparatus, a spray type gun, um, that is a, it's a very sophisticated gun. It, um, and so when we um, apply powder, it, it, when we receive it, it actually is a, is a powder. It's a colored powder. It looks kind of like talcum powder. Okay. And um, we, we get it in the mail. It's non-hazardous. Um, I'll throw that in. Because That's good we're, news. We're a green industry. We, we have very, very, very few um, things in our shop that would be considered hazardous. Um, we, so back to the process, we, um, when we uh, apply the powder, it goes through a high voltage uh, charge. Okay. And so all these little uh, particles get uh, highly charged with uh, positive um, ions or electrons and we ground the part. Okay. And so the powder, when it comes out of the gun, it's looking for something to stick to. And so it's gonna to go to the part and stick to it like a magnet in a sense. And it makes, it protects it, the material or the item? It, that's what gets the powder to adhere to the part. Um, so we have a, a, when it comes out of the gun, it's more like a cloud, a cloud of powder. Oh. And it will seek areas that you cannot even see. So uh, crevices, deep uh, pockets, things like that. The powder will um, find a way into those and, um, and, and stick. Awesome. So then when we, uh, once we, we've applied the powder, it goes straight into the oven. And once it's in the oven, it then melts. Okay. And it melts in place and it forms a, a really, um, very durable, very strong coating. And um, in, in comparison to paint, there is no comparison. I mean, the powders are so much more, uh, they're stronger and more durable, corrosion resistant, acid resistant. Um, the only paints out there that may be uh, similar are the real uh, heavy industrial paints, the epoxy, two-part epoxies. And those are extremely um, 
hazardous to work with. Yeah. What's the durability? I mean, um, time frame. Have you you ever anticipated that or got a feedback after applying the powder coating? Yeah, you know, I'm proud to say that, you know, we've been in business um, right at four years, and I have not had a return yet. Nice. That's good news. Yeah. That's good news. And, and I always tell people when they leave, if you have any problems, let me know. Yes. Let me be the first person to know. Very good. Um, and I always like feedback on um, the, the work that we do. And, and you do go follow up on it and just double check? Occasionally, yeah. I'll see my work. Uh, either um, uh, we do a lot of car stuff, car and motorcycles. So I'll see my stuff on people's cars or their motorcycles. Um, places like GPO, uh, the, uh, the GPO, we have stuff there nice. um, that we've done. Um, here and there, I see my stuff, and it, it's holding up very well. Awesome. Yeah. Great customer and quality service. Good oh, job. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Our, as far as you know, lifespan, you know, we're aware that Guam is yes. a, just mm. a horrendous environment. <laughs> um, and... Our UV is, is the major uh, thing that uh, I have to deal with for the powders. And so what I've done uh, personally is to bring in one of the most durable powders I can get my hands on. Okay. And they're considered called super durable. So I, and they're for architectural. And so just because of our environment, uh, I bring those in just as a matter of course. And it cost me a little more, but uh, I'm here to stay. Uh, I'm Good here to job. Stay. <laughs> and, and the supplies are here, the materials are here. and I bring everything in. Nice. We, nice. We, um, uh, since we can mail these powders um, in, the, when I, if somebody selects a particular color, I usually can get it here within a week. Okay. Uh, a week to so 10 days. Good turnaround time. Uh, to get the, 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 pow the color in. If I order it uh, from a special um, color, nice, nice color range. We can do anything. We have pink. Every, we have hot neon pink. Awesome. <laughs> I should have brought you a sample. Yes, yeah. yes. Even with uh, sparkle and glitter. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We we do a lot of um, uh, you know the standard colors, of course. You know, black, yellow, white, green. But we also can get uh, antique colors. We can get marble type uh, colors. Um, uh, a lot of texture, um, thousands, literally probably 10,000 colors uh, and textures to choose from. So I can bring something to you, you uh, so you, I can see some type of samples and how you apply the powder coating. So again, metal, aluminum, yes. steel, yes. and what else again are you able to? Uh, copper, brass, okay. um, uh, pretty much anything that will take a charge. And awesome. We can work with other things on occasion. Uh, there's you know little tricks to, to get the powder to stick. The main thing is it has to take the heat. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, when I say 350 to 400, that's standard uh, powders. Uh, there are low cure powders that go into the range of um, uh, around 300 degrees, and they use that for um, uh, fiber board, like oh, okay. uh, uh, particle board and stuff like that. Nice, nice. Yeah. That's good news. You're here to stay. Yeah. And how, how how has business been since then? I mean... Well, it's it's picking up. You know, because I'm the first to do it, uh, it we're not a familiar process or a name, mm -hmm. you know, uh, here. Uh, the, and so a lot of people aren't too sure of what powder coating is, mm -hmm. um, is until they see it. Awesome. Uh, we... Um, I should add that uh, for uh, some of the type of work we do, uh, we would see um, uh, a use, say, in the hotel industry, um, these high maintenance areas that they're painting all the time. We bring in powders that are antimicrobial, meaning they won't, uh, no fungus, no mold, no, no bacteria will grow on it. Uh, Anti-graffiti powders, so they're easy to clean if somebody's uh, graffitiing a wall or something like that. Nice. Uh, no skid powders for floor surfaces. Um, all kinds. We Good job. Good <laughs> job. Thank you. Well, thank thank you. you, Mr. Harris. Thank you so much. And we would like to thank you all for your time. For more information and in regards of.
Pacific Powder Coatings Guam, you can contact Mr. Harris. He is the owner and his contact number is 565-4772. Thank you, adjust, and have a great day. Thank you.